This is what's inside there. You can see the, be the beetles come down. They don't stop crawling until they find a crevice or corner to hide in. So they come down. I've got pictures somewhere of beetles all piled up in these crevices. Mm -hmm. and it's difficult for them to get out, so they drop down in there. Oh, yeah, that was my first trap. And we also have the same thing the drone foundation down right here, so you get your mites in the drone foundation. And that we got a video of that. Okay. And these are our small trap, which has the hinge lid. This is the new version, which also has a bait chamber. So you can put pollen or fruit apple or something. Cider vinegar yeah. or even live beetles in there and close the lid and it traps them in there. And this has a groove around the a lip around the slot, so it's very hard for the beetles to get out. I've got a video on there with the beetles actually claw crawling around in here with no oil. And they're alive, but they can't get out. They're can't figure out because they can't get over that lip. They can't get over the lip. Okay. That's cool. And it's also recessed below the surface of the frame, unlike our previous one. So and it has little openings here, so the beetles, it makes a nice little pocket for the beetles to fall, crawl down into and it traps them really well. And this, oh, this is what I was about to show you, a screen bottom board which has small screen, so beetles can't come up through the bottom. It's got a sticky board, mm -hmm. and we got screens on the side, so you still get good ventilation when you're using a sticky board. And just a small bottom trap in the back, because the beetles always pile up in the back corners. So you trap them in the oil in the back. It's much easier than fooling around with that big pan of oil, yes. trying not to yeah. spill it. This takes about a quarter to a third of a cup of oil rather than a quart. <clears throat> and anyway. they fall through the screen, right? Right. This is a number a number seven screen. Mm-hmm. No. Yes, a number seven screen. Number eight is a little too small. The bigger beetles won't go through it. And number six is a little too big. Some bees can go through it. Right. So number seven is it. Number seven is the answer. Can you explain this again for me while I have the video sure. running? Sure. This is our entrance trap. And you can see the video on YouTube. Just go to Beetle Jam. It has a small slot under here. The beetles smell the hive because there's a screen back in there. The beetles go under there and the bees go up over into the hive. And this is the fly-in guard. So beetles can't fly directly in. They hit here and drop down and then crawl into the trap. And you were explaining you made this opaque versus screen because right. the screen confused the bees. Right. I, I was trying to make one, I had made several out of screen, but it confused the bees. The bees couldn't figure out how to get around the screen. And one of my customers in Hawaii actually developed this and said it works great, and I tried it and tried it with the dust. Great, great. I'm going to get your shot. 